people knew we were working on next generation hardware. They knew it was called Project Scarlet. But we had put together a plan. There's a small team of us, uh, really, really uh, dedicated teams, working on the business for a long time, that went and sat down with Phil and the rest of the leadership team and said, hey, we want to be really bold and do the most unexpected things. I'm proud to be part of a team that was willing to go take that bet. You think about Xbox Series X. It's the most powerful device we've ever made. And we're really focused to continue to make sure there is no power greater than X as we think about the future. World premieres are a big part of this show, and you guys have a lot of expectations on the internet for things. There are lots of rumors, lots of leaks, and then sometimes there's surprises that come out of nowhere. Enjoy this. World premieres are a big part of this show, and you guys have a lot of expectations on the internet for things. There are lots of rumors, lots of leaks, and then sometimes there's surprises that come out of nowhere. Enjoy this. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, fulfill all your wishes. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. And then you would get more and more adventurous. And you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. Microsoft is going to make a game console. We weren't sure how we were going to do it. The risk was enormous. 
Microsoft was this dominant company of the era, but success or even survival was anything but preordained. We started to ship quality games. And at the same time, we weren't doing anything in the console space. One day, these guys from the DirectX team walked in. We just thought of ourselves kind of that rebels. A weird combination of craziness and genius. We were a renegade team. A lot of our thinking was focused on making the very best games. That really meant something for us. We wanted to make a console design to be easy and fun to make games on. We were trying to crash meetings and get traction on this thing. We were an annoyance. You're proposing taking money away from Office in order to fund some game system? Balmer understood where the money came from. Steve looked at the Xbox idea and saw insanity. Wait, just one minute before you answer. What's the hard drive going to cost? What's the Ethernet port going to cost? There's no way. Everything about making a console is hard. We made this little device that was held together by chewing gum and paste. And it doesn't turn on. It became clear that there was just some really big challenges for us. The Duke wasn't a small controller. You had to have gorilla hands to work with this thing. It doesn't matter what your technology is. If you don't have the games, we were done. They had this new thing called Halo. Forza was built as an epic racing game. Gears of War was appealing to a hardcore gamer. We were focused on having all of our games prepped for E3, and you were always just one catastrophic bug away from not making it. What's going on? The Red Ring of Death. Microsoft brand is on the line, the Microsoft name's on the line. It's insane to launch a game console. When you're Microsoft, you made freaking Windows in a spreadsheet. It was chaotic. Chaos, total chaos. Our goal is to continue to innovate across all platforms. Bridge the gap between traditional and cloud-based gaming. And then sometimes there's surprises that come out of nowhere. We are no longer in the Microsoft playbook. Thank you.